So, we are now back at the transmission, and here are the two ceiling rings, the cast iron ceiling rings, and I will remove them now. Okay, you have to put one side of the ring inside to the groove, and press from the opposite side with the middle finger to the ring to pull the other side a little bit upwards and then you are able to put a little screwdriver in, grab the ring and pull it frontwards. Slide the ring off the shaft. And these rings are cast iron rings. The other were some different, some plastic material or something like that. But these are cast iron rings. Lubricate that a little bit. That the rings could slide better. Okay. Now the reverse procedure. Add a little bit more tension. Okay, flat slot, and now into the groove. Okay, first one is in, and now lock that up. Locked. So, and now the second one. That's the easier one. Head over it. Okay, new rings are installed and also lubricated, but we put some additional oil on it. And everything is uh, 
nicely lubricated. And now, notebook. These two rings should be not, and the openings should be of the rings should be 180 degrees from each other. Okay, or almost like piston rings. Good. Okay, uh, next step will be uh, assembly of the tool and assembly of the input shaft. Put him some oil inside. Okay, put in here some grease because this air is not lubricated by oil or something like that. Put some castro lubrication grease, LM grease it's called. And and I spray some Vaseline spray from the other side inside. Okay. This one is lubricated. Let's put the shit on. So, that's it. Now the shaft, this tool comes off the shaft. It's very important to be sure to be right on top of the surface because if you squeeze your cast, cast iron ceiling rings they will break. Okay, we'll put all the bolts back together. Put in as well onto the bolts some Loctite glue to secure them and for additional uh, sealing ability. Okay, then put the hose back on and the mechanism for actuating the spooler valve. And I guess then I'm ready. Yes, put him all back to the, the, the clutch releasing spring and the mechanism. 
but that's the next clip. Okay, linkage is assembled to the spooler valve and the hoses. The linkage was some kind of problem because um, if you tighten the housing, you tighten this this bracket as well. And this bracket holds the actuator for the spooler valve. And if you're not in the slot for the spooler, spooler valve, you bend that shit. And that happens to me. But was not. I recognized it and bent it back. And um, then I encountered some other issue because this this lever lever here was pretty loose. But with this uh, nut and bolt, I was not able to. This one here. I was not able to to torque it more down because. It won't get further in. I had to build up myself some very thin shims to get less clearance. And I built it, these shims out of aluminum tubes, like you get it in the, in the supermarket where Coke is inside. And you, I had some some kind of of uh, tri-state. Here, uh, but now, now I've got only two states on and off. And with the old uh, adjustment, there was something in between as well, but only at the lever in in the in the cab, not here. But it gives a not a good feeling while shifting the power shift. Okay. I will not put on the uh, clutch release bearing and then I guess, yes, I will lubricate this with grease because the clutch release bearing is is moving on this surface here. Yes, and put the, the pedal shaft for the clutch here and Assemble all, but you will see it in the clip. Okay, clutch release bearing has been assembled. I put also here a new bearing because the old one made some some bad noise. Yes, and this will come off right here. Springs are now holding this this back together, and I guess I'm I am finished with the transmission part, and now I will put back the fuel tank onto the cab. Fuel tank is back to the tractor. I have to play a little bit with with this thing because at the rear side there's a, a, a hose and a big rubber hose which wasn't fitting right into the into the inlet of the tank as I have to play with it a, a little bit and okay. I think I got now all parts on, no screws or bolts or nuts are remaining, so I guess I did not forget to put some some of the bolts back back on.